Kaya ako to ginawa tong vlog na to kasi I want to inform you kung 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 ano ba yung message ng Divine Mercy na dapat mo tong malaman. Hi, Adrian Milag here and welcome again to my vlog. At kung first time mo dito sa aking channel, make sure na mag-subscribe ka at click mo yung bell button para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At ang topic ko for today is all about Divine Mercy. Okay, gano'n ba ka-powerful ang image na to, yung Divine Mercy? ba diba yung si Jesus? ba diba may picture ni Jesus? And then may nakalagay na two rays. Yung isa is yung blood and yung isa yung water. Uh, Tapos nakalagay sa baba, Jesus, I trust in you. Alam mo ba na itong image na to ay very powerful to protect your home. Yes, especially in the pandemic na nangyayari ngayon sa coronavirus. According to kay Father Chris Aylar, sabi niya that he invite all the Catholics na magkaroon ng image ng Divine Mercy sa bahay nila. Kung pwede nga ilagay sa harapan ng doorpost. With this image, it is a protection during the coronavirus pandemic. And he also explained that tayo mga laity, okay, kahit hindi tayo mga religious person like priests, nuns, uh, pwede nating i-bless yung, yung image na yun. Okay? Even in the absence of a priest. Image ng Divine Mercy are very powerful yan. Sabi ni Jesus, may promise siya. Ito sabi niya, that the soul that will venerate, honor this image will not perish. At makikita mo to sa diary ni Sister Faustina. And Sister Faustina's confessor na si Blessed Michael Sofoco said, Jesus also revealed this promise to the saint. When chastisements for sins come upon the world and your own country will experience utter degradation, the only refuge will be trust in my mercy. I will protect the cities and homes in which the divine mercy image is found. I will protect the person who will venerate this image. The only refuge will be trust in my mercy. Jesus added this, Let everyone procure for their homes this image because there will yet come trials and those homes and entire families and everyone individually who will hold this image of my mercy in deep reverence, I will preserve from every sort of misfortune. The time will come when all those who do so will give witness to the miraculous efficacy and to the special protection of my mercy flowing from this image. Wow! Grabe, di ba? Grabe yung, yung promise ni Jesus. And guess what? This Sunday is a Divine Mercy Sunday. Kaya tamang-tama itong vlog na to. Itong ginawa kong to. Intentionally, I make this vlog para i-prepare ka sa Divine Mercy Sunday. Kung ikaw ay katoliko at hindi mo pa rin to alam, hindi mo alam yung meron palang Divine Mercy Sunday, grabe, my gosh. <laughs> The joke lang. Kaya ako to ginawa tong vlog na to kasi I want to inform you kung, kung, kung ano ba yung message ng Divine Mercy na dapat mo tong malaman. At maraming tao ang nagtat nagtatanong, paano raw ba marireceive yung grace na promise ni Jesus sa Divine Mercy Sunday. Ito yung sinabi niya kay Sister Faustina. Okay? So, sabi dito sa diary ni Sister Faustina, sabi dito ni Jesus, On that day, the very depths of my tender mercy are open. I pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the fount of my mercy. And here's the extraordinary promise ni Jesus. The soul that will go to confession 
and receive Holy Communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment on that day all the divine floodgates through which graces flow are open let no soul fear to draw near to me even though its sin be as scarlet so ito yung promise ni jesus this sunday itong divine mercy sunday na when you go to confession and when you receive the holy communion you will be wiped out of the two stains in your soul, which is sin and punishment. Pero siguro, alam ko marami nagre-react ngayon. Siya sabi niyo, eh, teka brother Adrian, paano kami makakapag-confess at makakapag-take ng Holy Communion? Eh, wala nga bukas na church ngayon because of this pandemic, itong quarantine natin ngayon. Exactly. Tama? Tama ka dyan. <laughs> so, ganito ang gagawin mo. Okay? Dahil walang uh, confession at di tayo makapag-take ng Holy Communion uh, physically, habang naka-lockdown pa tayo, ito yung sabi ni Pope Francis sa atin that when we go to confession, pwede tayo mag-confess kay God directly. Ngayon, itong panahon na to. So, pwede natin gawin yun by saying the act of contrition. Sa baba ng video na to, bibigyan kita ng guide paano yung preparation mo when you go to confession, when you confess to God directly. Okay, may lalagay ako dito sa baba ng video na to na link. Nandun yung mga preparation na dapat mong gawin. Pag nagawa mo na to, pag nakapag-confess ka, after na tong lockdown na to, go to a priest and take your confession as soon as possible. And next is, habang wala pa tayong physical na Holy Communion, di ba we do a spiritual communion? May binabasa tayo na every time nanonood tayo ng online mass, right? Yung spiritual communion. So, after ng quarantine na to, make sure, ha? make sure you will take the Holy Communion as soon as possible. And when you take the confession and go to, uh, and when you have a spiritual communion, you will receive these graces na pinangako ni Jesus on Divine Mercy Sunday. You will be completely clean, as in malinis ka sa lahat ng kasalanan na gawa mo simula nung bata ka as in talagang zero clean clean slate reset talaga linis na linis ka matindi pa to sa bleach <laughs> grabe si Lord diba? ganon yung pagmamahal niya sa atin that extraordinary promise is open for everyone dahil itong extraordinary promise na to is for everyone hindi lang to pang katoliko this is for all Kaya nga, meaning ng Catholic is universal because we embrace everyone. Because si Jesus hindi lang siya namatay para sa Katoliko, namatay siya sa lahat. All mankind, all humanity, walang exemption, wala siyang pinipili. Yung divine mercy niya, yung kapatawaran niya sa buong mundo, para sa lahat yon At ganun tayo, mahal na mahal ng Diyos. Yeah, this Sunday, this coming Sunday, let's all receive these extraordinary graces. Hi! Thank you for watching. Na-bless ka ba sa vlog kong to? So, kung na-bless ka, please like, share, and mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to. And you may also subscribe on my YouTube channel and click the bell button para lagi ka updated sa mga new content na gagawin ko. At pakilike ang aking page, Brother Adrian Milag. At para sa mga libreng ebook and training na galing sa akin, punta ka lang sa website ko sa www.adrianmilag.net.
It's been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.